15 February 2018. Uh, this is a female, female 10 female, years female, old. Female, let me talk. Uh, not sterilized silky terrier in, in excellent condition. You can, you can see the body condition is uh, good. About 4.9 body condition score. It means it's ideal weight, it's not fat, not thin. Now, the, the history of this female not sterilized dog is that uh, urinary tract infection. How many times already over the years, right? Over the sin, uh, since three years, three years of age, right? To now it's 10 years, right? So seven years of age. The owner has spent a lot of money on veterinary consultations uh, and treatment. Now, I'm just making this video to educate other owners that actually for the female dog, the female dog, the the female dog that is not spayed, not sterilized, huh? then when they grow old, the uterus gets infected due to old age as well. And uh, the, the bacteria forms pus, and the pus comes out from the, the, uh, the, the private pus. So one sign, uh, one sign of the pus coming out is, of course, you can see the discharge. But in this dog, why the owner never sees any discharge? No, that, that is the, the reason is because this dog is very, very clean. So even if there's one drop of the pus coming out here, she will lick it off. So the owner actually sees a dog licking the private parts almost every day or very frequently. Yeah. Now, this is called hyperpigmentation. It means the whole private part is black in color due to licking. Now we turn her upside down, ready? And and this is the, the proof, you see? When she licks the prior parts, she has to clean the other parts also. And you can see the whole lower body is hyperpigmented. That means black due to licking. Over many years, many years of licking, the skin becomes rough and the pigment comes. Now, now the reason is that this dog has a infection of the uterus. It's called pyometra, but it's not serious. So, so the owner didn't uh, notice any discharge. Or well, the dog didn't fall sick, any, sick, any sickness like, like, like vomiting, no. Uh. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing is, for the old dog, if we don't spay them, they have this problem of false pregnancy, you see the milk coming out. Now, false pregnancy is not really pregnant, but it's the signs and symptoms are milk. There you see milk coming out. Uh. Okay, so uh, let us see. So this is a, a disadvantage because what happened is, the milk comes out and the dog keeps on licking below. So the lower part is all black as well. Huh? And the nipples are a bit bigger due to the dog trying to uh, suck, suckle herself. Now, the, the purpose of this video is to educate owners that if you had sterilized this female dog at a young age, let's say one year old, two years old, or even three years old, there will be no problem of this uh, urinary tract infection. The reason for urinary tract infection in some old female is because the bladder gets infected. The bladder and the uterus opening, uh, they are close together. So when the dog licks the private parts, the bacteria goes into the bladder. So when it goes in the bladder, the bladder gets infected. Now the bacteria come from the pus in the uterus. The uterus of an old, not sterilized female dog and never give birth, never give birth, right? Yeah. It is, uh, tends to become infected at old age. After normally five, six years old, this dog is ten years old. So, it, so the dog keeps on cleaning up herself, and the owner sees the vet for ur urinary tract infection. And after antibiotics, it's okay, right? It's yeah. okay. And then uh, the owner is happy, but then comes back again. Mm -hmm. I have another case similar like this, and uh, I think it's a silky terrier as well, female, not sterilized. And so it keeps on going on and on until the dog is now ten years old. And, and, and when they grow old, it's very difficult for, for the anesthetic risk. Uh, the risk is higher. So there's one, one reason you spayed earlier. Now look at the, ear, uh, the skin wart. Now skin wart in old dogs, not very common, but uh, it does happen. Uh. The skin wart is here, there. Okay. Now this one, I can remove it during the spay. This dog is recommended to spay. This is skin wart. You see the cauliflower? It looks like a cauliflower. Now sometimes the, the, the dog wants to scratch it off, but it doesn't come out 100%. Where's the other one? Uh, I cut. Right. Yeah. It might be a small one, right? Yeah. 
Is it over there? No. Okay. But this stuff doesn't have much many words. No. Yeah, so 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 the skin was ought to be removed during spay because sometimes they drew they, they, they grow bigger and also the dog is irritated by by it in, when it's near the eyelids. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So in conclusion in con conclusion this dog has seen the vet over for urinary tract infringement for how many how many years I would say mm. maybe seven years mm. and the, the solution has not been satisfactory because it comes back again. Starting with passing a little bit of urine more times. And then after that blood in the urine, right? Then, yes, uh, then continue. Uh, then after that continues with blood in the urine. And then in many of these cases there actually are no stones inside the bladder because it's the cause is not bladder stone in many cases. Uh, and in many cases you just sterilize the dog and and uh, everything is okay already. But even in this case the owner gives a CD, uh, prescription diet CD for how many years already? Two years, huh? two years ago still, uh, we have this problem. See? So in, in this case, there is a differential diagnosis. If the problem persists despite feeding the CD, CD heals CD, acidify the urine, and normally they don't get any more problems for urinary stone formation, or they prevent urinary stone formation as true bites, huh? which is common in dogs. So in this case, I would say that Although we didn't take X-ray, I could calculate that there were no, no uh, bladder stone unless they are small ones. Uh. Normally, the abdominal palpation can feel the sound, crepitus, they call it, in the bladder, and the bladder can be quite thick, the bladder wall. But this one, they don't have this. Uh, you know, see here, uh, they don't have this. Uh, I can feel nothing, uh, no large stones and no pain. Otherwise, you can feel the, the dog can feel the pain. So it's unlikely to be bladder stone, so we're not taking x-ray, so we schedule a spay two weeks from now and uh, after that then we will know uh, the next six months the owner will let me know what is the result. Any more any more urinary tract infection or none? I expect none. Okay, so